Hello everyone, and today I am going to be practicing on my Oldenburg Stallion, Asterian, or Asterian Desire to give it the full name. An introductory walk and trot dressage test using a 20 by 40 arena. So, this is one of my newer horses, this is one of my dressage prospects. Let me excuse the flashbang. There we go, just so we have full daylight. So I have put in my own arena markings here, just so we can see them. But we are entering at a walk working trot. At C, we are tracking to the left. And at E, we are doing a half circle left 20 meters to B. So the big thing with a half circle left, the arena itself is 20 meters. So you are going to be wanting to use up all that space. Between B and M, we've transitioned to walk and then proceeding back into a working trot. H, X, F, this is a change of the rain. So I am going to be turning, I am going to be pointing myself directly towards F. And then between F and A, we are transitioning back into that medium walk. A to K, once again, medium walk. Then we're changing the rein, K, X, M, which is change the rein in free walk on a long rein. Now we can't do that in Red Dead Redemption 2 or Red M. So we're just going to be very relaxed about it. From M to C, the next move that I will be doing is we'll be picking from a free walk into a medium walk. Again, can't do that. But at C, we will be establishing back into a working trot. Good boy. At E, we're doing a half circle left in the trot. So a 10 meter circle to X and then at X we are doing a half meter circle, half 10 meter circle right to B. Between A and K we are back into walk for one horse's length. And then we're picking up the trot again. At E we are doing another half circle right. 20 meters in this case to B. So again, trying to use up as much of this school as I can. At A, it's turning down the center line in a medium walk. I drifted a bit off course there. At X, we're transitioning down to medium walk. And at G, we are transitioning to a halt. And then it's immobility and salute by looking down and back up again. And then we're leaving the arena in walk on a free line. That would be a deduction technically just because this is a newer horse. He got a bit excited. And that would be a very simple, very quick, very easy dressage video. Now, if I was doing it as a full test, I wouldn't be wearing this. This is just what Tobias Reynolds tends to wear on his everyday work. Same as the tack. It's not what I would be wearing for a full dressage event. But hopefully this has given you a bit of help. One thing I will say is you can, if you're in third person perspective, which is what I tend to use, you can get a lot nicer circle just if you're using mouse and keyboard, moving your mouse. So let me just give an example of a 20 meter circle in trot with just mouse and it's just very fine angles and what I'm doing when I'm trying to do a 20 meter circle down at A or C is I'm always imagining the biggest part of the circle should be on the roughly in line with X well right it let's talk about serpentine serpentines a three loop serpentine you're thinking half your 20 meter circle few lines of straightness then back into another circle half 
few lines of thickness, then again another half of the circle. Some other tricks I can, or tips I can give you in terms of working out your circle sizes. So this arena, as I mentioned, is a 2540. So say for example, I only wanted to do a 10 meter circle, I will do between K and A. Just so you can see, I'm basically using this bottom corner. If I was to do it for A, I'm doing it round at B, I'm using the centre line as my marker. Hopefully this helps. There are a few limitations on horse gates and what you can do in Red Dead. But hopefully this has given you a handy little primer into dressage and dressage training and the sort of work that I do and also how I tend to read the tests and how you can use the tests for the arena markings hope it helps oh and don't forget always give your horses a good pat because that is important because they've tried their best 